If cats had pockets what would you find in your cat's pockets? Post by test it call. Half a dozen hair ties, and one of my socks. My childhood cat once found a sock I had left outside, she was very proud to return it, the howling around a mouthful of sock was adorable. They usually bring dead rats or birds, guess the smell was similar. I had a cat bring in my bra once. I probably go through 50 hair ties a year, despite only wearing them at home and putting them in the same place when I'm done with them. Adorable little thiefy thief. Milk rings and grudges mostly. I read an article recently that said cats hardly keep grudges. They forget and forgive really easily. Nice try cat. Foods he decides to eat later, my hamster, pieces of garbage he found in the house. That kind of stuff. Had a bird my parents rescued that flew into my mom's fourth story office window. Named it Tweet. Loved it. But we had a cat that had never been around one. So they put the cage in their bathroom. We always made sure to keep the cat out cause she would mess with the bird. Came home and the door was open to the room. I walked in and bird was dead of an assumed heart attack because the cat probably attacked the cage trying to get to the bird. Oh yeah, my roommate had a cat and my other roommate got a canary. Its cage was attached to the ceiling. The cat would knock it off the ceiling and slap it around the floor like an oversized cat toy. The canary didn't die, but I'm sure it was terrified AF. Dead dove do not eat. I don't know what I was expecting. You didn't eat that did you? I've made a huge mistake. What's your return policy? Michael I've made a huge mistake. Catnip and strings. Cat 1, you got the stuff? Cat 2, yeah here's an eighth of that og nip and a uh, this string for no reason. Tiny mittens because I put them there. Kitten mittens. Is your cat making too much noise all the time? You were probably tired of him being so loud. Mittens for kittens. A f***ing q-tip. Came here to say this. My cat is obsessed. He will bite them out of our hands when they are mid-eat clean. He's crazy. My cat will get them out of the garbage. It's ridiculous. To clarify, does the cat itself have pockets, or is it wearing pants? I'd like to think that they're wearing pants that match their fur so you can't tell that they are indeed wearing pants. Another important question, do they wear the pants on all four legs horizontally? Or vertical, just the two back legs? If a cat wore pants would they wear it like this or like this? Another cat's ear. Is your cat rocking some sort of Hannibal Lecter alter ego or some sh**? No, Mike Tyson. Asterisk meow Tyson. Tell you what you wouldn't find. A single f A checklist of safety procedures for the house. We call our cat our little OSHA inspector. He patrols the house and when things are out of place or messy he meows at us to fix it. How curios, maybe he was a building inspector in a previous incarnation. Our cats with jobs. A little salami. Cats can have a little slami. Their paws of course. They'll need to learn to whistle. And lean casually on corners. Food for now, food for later, and food for even later. My cat's a pig who will knock things over and break them to get to food. Lol great question. Knowing my cats I'd find my wallet. Expensive little f***ers. Their pockets are full of secrets. No way they can be licking their butts in the corner for that long, they must be gathering intel for their plan to take over the world. Their diabolical assassination plan. Cat number one, those silver fuzzy toy balls. But only the silver ones. Cat number two, twice the legal carry limit for catnip. Cat number three, you know that meme about spaghetti falling out of someone's pockets? It's that. But with friskies turkey and cheese. Cat number four, hum let's see. Chewed up rubber power cables, elastic bands, whiskers temptations, crinkle balls, fuzzy crinkle balls, litter, the carcasses of the man da rats she has felled, stolen puzzle pieces, stolen socks, and a picture of her one true love, cat number one, who hates her guts. I would watch a movie with your cats as the main characters. Q. 
keys, purse, a copy of the Necromonicon, some mints, and a relic of a long lost civilization, it's oddly attractive yet repulsive all at once. Perfectly smooth on one side, coarse as the Sahara on the other. Many have gazed upon it and gone quite mad. In a quiet room, some swear it hums to them. H. P. Lovecat. All of my hair ties hides them all or gathers them in one spot one half of a potato chip and or cracker the cap to my water bottle hides it constantly food stashed away as of preparing for starvation every meal is last meal. I give my cat cracker halves all the time, he gives me a puzzled look, and accepts it as a offering. They don't get eaten, but they wind up all over the place. This is how we get Ants Dennis. A shiv, but I'd never see it coming. His own smartphone. And a GoPro. With 65 hours of video of me sleeping while evil cat laughter can be faintly heard in the background. Fuck you, Kyle, you sneaky ass bastard. I know it was you who dropped that lamp on my head. You. Named your cat Kyle? Ronnie would have a toy, Arya would keep food, Jasmine would keep her glasses, Moose would probably have a laser toy, and Monkey. Well. Yeah, probably a shiv. They should have made this cat's movie. Scraps of plastic partially eaten. That noise. At 3 a.m. Every night. Nothing like the noise of an idiot cat eating plastic to somehow magic you awake at 100% mental acuity. A map of my house marked with the best hiding spots so the little f***er can jump out and scare the sh** out of me. All those plastic spring toys which have vanished. Not under the furniture or appliances, over 30 of them just gone. I know they've hidden these toys somewhere. Things I lost months ago. Lizards. Whole, dried, or pieces of. I have three cats, so there are multiple things. My first cat, Palmetto, would have food in her pockets. My second cat, Mac, would have toy bell balls in his. My third cat, Paula, would have cords. All my guitar picks. Hair ties. Probably in the hundreds. A handful of bobby pins, a piece of string, that earring I lost and detailed plans to take over the world. The blunt. The same things that he now hides under my wife's chair. Any small thing he can knock off of an end table. Closing parenthesis. You are an absolute legend for making it to the end. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button. And if you can't get enough, consider subscribing. See you around.